finally beautiful spring-like weather. It's getting up in the 40s. I want to show you the hydro power. I got a brand new 10kW hydro plant hooked up to the end of the Pelton wheel there. I'm going to show you right from here all the way up the pipeline. We got two leaks in the pipeline, but we're going to have to shut down after everything thaws out. Shut the whole pipeline off and splice in some new pieces. This is the very bottom of the pipeline right here. This is the end of it where it's coming down. Going into the Pelton wheel. And this old Pelton wheel in here, it was built like back in the late 50s, early 60s. I'll show you. I just hooked up, we just got done hooking up a brand new 10kW, 10,000 watt generator unit to the end of it right here. It's kind of noisy, but check it out. 10kW right here. We got twin belts on it. We got enough horsepower coming down with the water now. I gotta turn on about half throttle. All right at the very bottom here. We're gonna go all the way up to the lake. Check the whole pipeline, see if there's any more breaks than the ones that we knew about. At least she's running again now. We got our new hydro power up. Electricity, baby. Hey, this is right at the top of the hill here. Pelton wheels is right down at the bottom. Now, the pipeline here, you can see it's braced up. It goes right up underneath the main lodge building up there that we've been staying in all winter. And then from behind there, you know, it's about a mile up to the lake. So we're going to go out and show you. Check we're going to take you back up and go through the forest. Uh, I got a, a game trail going around. But anyway, the bears are out right now, too. They, I'm sure the bears are popping out of their dens right now. It's sunny and 40 degrees outside so anyway this island's got some big monster kodiak brown bear on it you know one thing for sure the bears are coming out right now there's no doubt they're popped out of their dens and they're heading down for the beaches nearest source of food and all the deers are all herded up the deer is all down the beach they go on the beach and feed every day and then just, just go just inside the forest line to sleep. So the bears will head right there. So anyway, we're really on guard. Make sure, keep our eyes open for the big Kodiak bear to be coming around. Ah oh, man, check out the size of these huge old growth spruce trees up here in the forest. Along with these giant old growth trees, Look at the size of that thing, man. Look at this one right here. Huge. Yeah, along with the huge giant old growth trees comes giant old brown bears, man. These bears out here. Bears on this island that are 1,000 to 1,500 pounds, man. Monsters. And right now when they come out of their dens, they're, they're hungry, looking for food. Holy smokes, man, this, there's two spots like this, this one and one down below, and we'll show you a video clip that we took like two months ago. It was squirting 30 feet up in the air making this, but this thing's probably not going to melt all the way till like, it won't be melted till June sometime. It's so thick of ice, but you can see the pipelines going right down into it and under it, so it's just, they're in the stall out. I won't be surprised one bit if the, you know, if the pipeline doesn't snap in half and we have to either go around this thing right here or wait till it melts all the way down and then try to, you know, just repair it. The brakes down on the other side of this thing and it was squirting up in the air right there. You can see the crack where the water was squirting through. Holy smokes, man. Pipeline had a leak in it right here. It was shooting like 30 feet in the air, but look at the size of the glacier it's formed in the, this plastic pipe. It's only a quarter inch thick. It's going right underneath this whole thing of ice. You can see how tall it is. You can see behind you here, the pipeline suspended up in the air right there. Oh, we're almost up to the lake here now. And it's crazy, like this one spot right here, you can look down here and see where the the pipeline's actually like almost thrown into the ground. It goes along the ground here for several hundred yards and comes out right here and goes back in the air. They actually have it supported right there. 
up on stilts going right up the stream. The lake's just right there about another quarter mile. We'll go see if we can make it. Well, I haven't seen a bear track yet, but so far the pipeline checks out. But you can see that's the old wood pipe. And it's going underground right there all the way back in. This is the, the headwaters right here of the stream coming out of the lake just right there, about 100 yards away. And that's the old kind of pipe that they used to use years ago. It's tongue and groove cedar, one inch thick, wrapped in a, a coil of wire to hold it together. It's heavy duty stuff. I mean, all the pieces laying around here are still in good shape. You see it's uh, gushing out right there, leaking where the plastic's going into the wood. After everything gets thawed, we'll be able to tighten that up. I don't even know if I can make it into the entrance to the lake. There's still lots of deep snow just right there as soon as you come out of the forest. Made it all the way up to the lake here. As soon as you get out in the open, man, it's still deep ass snow. Three to five feet deep and drifts. Anyway, you can see the lake's gonna be a while before it's thawed out. Whoa, dude, it's fell down in a real deep hole right there. Hey everyone, Alaska man here. I'm up here at Dead Man's Port, out in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. Make sure you go to our website, alaskawildadventures.tv. Sign up and join. Get on our blog posting so we can get you our weekly video updates. Go to our Facebook page, Alaska Wild Adventures, and become a fan. Right on, everybody. Stay tuned. We're going to bring it to you live here from Alaska, out here in the wilderness. <laughs>